Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica Gilliam and I am the artist here at the Sleepy Pine Studio. Today I want to talk about one of the things that has affected me the most in my creative journey and something that I have had to spend a lot of time being intentional to learn how to navigate and that is judging my artwork before it's finished. I cannot tell you how many times I've been working on a painting or any kind of creative project and there's this middle place. You know, when you first begin, you're kind of starting to lay things out. You know that it's not finished. It's fine. But right about the middle, you hit this place of it's sort of finished. Like you can now recognize what you're doing. There's more detail in there, but not all the detail. And maybe you haven't added all the shadows and you haven't added all the the elements to it. So it kind of just feels unfinished. It feels unfinished because it is, it is unfinished. But in that time of it feeling really unfinished, you hit this wall. I hit this wall in almost every single one of my creative projects. And that is feeling like it sucks and therefore I no longer want to finish it. And for a really long time, I would not finish a project because of this. I would be like, oh, this sucks. I'm just, I suck. This is awful. I'm, 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 I'm terrible. And so I would stop. I would put it away until I felt like painting it again, until I felt my muse return or whatever it was. But what I've learned and really been working towards and really have been working on over the last, you know, year and a half of making art full time is I can't judge a painting before it's done. A lot of times it's the final details that make that piece come to life. A lot of times it will look unfinished until I put those final little things on right at the end and all of a sudden it just transforms it. And if I judge my painting and I judge my artwork before I get to that point and I stop, it messes with my mind. It basically reinforces this idea of you're not creative. You can't make this. You can't do that. You don't have um, what it takes to, to create art. You aren't creative. Um, you suck. You know, it it reinforces those voices in my head. And instead, what I have to say is, no, no, it's not done. I think this has been something I've really struggled with because it's very difficult to proceed through this, you know, this part. It's as if your feet are in the mud and you have to keep pushing through the mud in order to get to this magical part. I've also noticed that sometimes this also comes from I'm ready to put in those in details, but the painting isn't ready. So I'm emotionally ready to be finished with it. I'm emotionally ready to put in all the final touches. But if I went to put those in then, it, it wouldn't be ready because I haven't created the foundation. I haven't put enough layers in. I haven't done all the steps to bring me to the point where I can actually finish the piece. So... I feel frustrated. I feel emotionally exhausted. And there are a few things that I've learned that have really helped me get through this piece. The first one is I work on multiple pieces at once now. Um, I've recently started doing this and I love it. I find that if I have multiple projects going at once, when I hit that middle part of a piece isn't finished, but I, I know it still needs some work, but I'm emotionally like exhausted from working on it, I'll just set it aside and work on the next piece. And then I can kind of bounce around throughout the pieces, but I'm committed to working on all of them. This isn't a set it aside until I feel the draw, feel drawn to work on it again. I just will have a pile of five or six pieces and I'm pulling from those pieces. 
and I'm working on them and I'm finishing some and adding the, some have the first layer on and some have six layers, you know, they're all in different places and different levels of finished, but I can still work on them over time. So I'm not making myself work on something that I'm not enjoying, but also sometimes when I put in the final touches on another painting or I, you know, have a painting that's less finished, when I'm ready to switch, I might look at that one and be like, well, this one's more finished than the other one. I'm going to go ahead and add another layer. You know, it feels a little bit less scary. There's less stakes when it's the only painting you're working on. There's a lot more stakes when you are working kind of endlessly on a bunch of different ones and you can kind of bounce around. There are less, it's less like, oh my gosh, what if I finish this and I suck and I have nothing else to show for it. And, you know, you could get stuck in your head by switching it up. You kind of can get out of being stuck in your head, I guess. Another thing that really helps me is, again, just saying the words, I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, when I'm like, man, this painting sucks, I have to be like, no, it's just not finished. And telling myself that over and over again, I actually have found that it started to shift that feeling of it's not done yet. It doesn't even affect me in the same way. I don't even feel as um, discouraged by the not done yet part of it. It's like, I, I just know, no, it's not done yet. I've, I've, I have literally trained my brain to not see that as um, a disappointing thing. And even if I'm a little bit disappointed in the direction it's going, I can always keep going. I can always come back to it. And I just remind myself like, no, it's just not done yet. Another way that I have kind of helped this as well is not finishing pieces too soon. So this is something that, you know, takes time to kind of figure out where's finished. But one of the things that I've discovered is if I consistently don't put enough layers and depth into a painting, I might think I'm finished with it, put in all those final details and still be really unhappy with it. And a lot of times that was because I wasn't patient enough and I jumped to those end details before they were ready. And I think learning where done is and not being afraid to overwork some pieces to get there or underwork some pieces will help as well. So it's kind of this like middle place where you have to start to train yourself like, no, this piece is just not finished yet. But also what does finished mean for you? Where, when is a piece finished? What do I want a finished piece to look like? And that kind of comes with finding your own style. And that's something I will talk about in another video. But really, where, where do you want this to go? I think is really the biggest thing. I hope that these little tips were a little bit helpful for you, but ultimately I think the reality is most creatives deal with this feeling like, Ugh, this piece sucks, but the piece isn't done yet. And I think it's so easy to judge it prior to being done when in reality, it just, it just needs a little bit more work. It just needs a little bit more patience and time from you. So, you know, the next time you're working on a creative project, whether it's embroidery or painting or sewing project or a drawing um, or learning a new skill or whatever it is, remember this fact that you should not judge this piece that you are creating until it is done. And when it's done, maybe it won't be perfect but you finished it. So you know you can finish it. And you can look at that finished piece and say, hell yeah, I finished this. I got this. These are the things I would change for the future. And the next time you can implement those changes, but you can't start making the decisions of things you would do differently before you're done. I think that sometimes we make those decisions too early. We might say, "Ugh, I would paint this differently next time. And it's like, yeah, maybe, but you're not even finished yet. So like, you don't even know how it's going to turn out. Maybe by the end of it, you'll actually love how it turned out. 
and you don't want to change anything about it. But if you're judging and nitpicking on the process before you're even finished with it, it's like you're reflecting before you have something to reflect about. And I think that that can be so damaging to your emotional and mental health and to your creative process. And so recognizing that we have to just keep going. We have to finish it even when it doesn't feel like it's turning out the way you want it. Keep going. Keep pushing through it and finish that piece. And then you can make those decisions. It might still, sometimes I'll finish something and I'm still like, nope, I don't like it. But I finished it. And that tells your brain, I can finish things. I am capable of creating the things I want to create. And by telling yourself that, you're now training your brain to continue working towards that and training yourself to know, I can do this. So I hope that was a little bit helpful. And if you don't already, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at The Sleepy Pine. And I will see you in the next video. 